There's a little bit of everything in there. Some trim work, old plywood shelving. There's even a little bit of my good buddy Ben's old futon. Thanks, Ben. I ran out of time in the last video to replace these compost bins. So that's what I'll be doing in this one. Since that last video, I've had a chance to finish filling all of the raised beds with compost. Here's how far I got and where I left off. A lot of this material is unfinished compost that will have to be shifted into empty bins to finish composting. My chipper shredder is in the shop. It needs a new carburetor. Anyway, the big pile of branches that was right here, I just moved right over here so it'll be out of my way. The first compost bins that I built were just slapped together with old pallets that I got for free. The new compost bins are gonna be built with better materials and will be designed to last longer. The hinged doors were a bad idea. <clears throat> to be honest, I'm not sure how they're still hanging on. One of the problems with a hinged door is dirt will pile up in front so it just won't swing open freely. Since then, I've gone with a stacked slat design. Interestingly, these two compost bins were built at the exact same time as I built those other two, but they're not in quite as bad of shape, so I won't be replacing them this year. The damage that you can see is instructive, however. The wood that a compost bin is made of will eventually decompose into compost. The composting process is hottest and most effective deep within the pile. The lower boards that have been more or less continuously exposed to compost for the last six years have fared a little bit worse, especially the center dividers that have had compost on both sides. I'll probably just temporarily patch this up with some scrap boards get through another year, I think. Demolition comes before reconstruction. Some of the screws and brackets are salvageable, but not many. I'm not going to be reusing any of these decorative branches, they'll just be chipped. I am sentimental enough to want them to still be part of the homestead in some form. Some of them I brought with me from the first home that I bought. I am being careful to cut around any screws or nails. I don't want those going through the chipper.
Most of the material for this project is leftover or resalvaged scrap. The only lumber that I bought new are the two 12-foot 2x4s that will go along the back and the pressure-treated 4x4 vertical posts. Many of the screws that I'll be using are a gift from a dedicated viewer. Thanks, Sharon. As a result, my total cost for this project is right around $100.
The framing is finally done. I've buried the vertical posts in an attempt to keep the structure from leaning out of square. The diagonal braces are also there to help keep it true. The siding will be next. I've got some salvaged cedar. Hopefully I'll have enough. If I don't, I may go over my $100 budget. To attach those boards, I'm gonna fish screws through some washers so there'll be a, a greater surface area to keep those boards in place, especially over time as those boards weaken. Finally, if we have enough time, I'll work on those stacked slat doors that I mentioned. ran out of time yesterday, but I did not run out of the salvaged cedar. Cedar is a good wood to use because it's naturally resistant to rot. I don't have very many of those boards left, so next year, when I'll probably have to replace these two compost bins, I'll just have to buy more. The stacked slat door design is pretty simple. You just create a channel on either side with a little bit of wiggle room and you cut your boards short enough to easily slip in and out. I did have to go back to Home Depot to get this one wide board that I cut in half for the two center posts. It alone cost about $25, but I wanted something wide enough to span this distance.
The look of these doors is rustic, but cool, if I do say so myself. There's a little bit of everything in there. Some trim work, old plywood shelving. There's even a little bit of my good buddy Ben's old futon. Thanks, Ben. I've been stockpiling these new decorative branches. And I still need to attach them to these short ends. But that can wait for later. Thanks for watching. Well, thank you, Eros. That is very helpful. <laughs>